Thank you for visiting Pass the Wire TV, the YouTube channel of PassTheWire.com. Side with Peter Miller, uh, Michael Wilson. Peter's got two in the Breeders' Cup this year. Uh, Peter, I do believe you are the first guy to ever win a Breeders' Cup race with a horse you claimed. Is that correct? I think you might be the I only be, guy. I don't know. I don't know, but uh, we'll try again with CZ Rocket. We got very lucky with Stormy Liberal to win twice with a claimed horse, and we claimed CZ Rocket, and he ran second two years ago, so maybe we can get lucky again. How's he been doing? He's doing very well. He's really, I think he's coming up to a, a good race and uh, just got to get lucky, get a good trip and some pace in front of us. I mean, you've done such an amazing job keeping a horse kind of at the top of his game at that level. And I mean, it, some people don't recognize how tough it is to keep horse in these advanced years at that. What kind of do you do to keep him ticking along? You know, we uh, just try and keep him happy. Don't overdo it. You know, it's, uh, I think it's easy to, overtrain these horses and try and give him breaks and uh, you know he's an old guy and he knows he knows what's up so I I just uh, let him train himself it's kind of cool at that age right they become real true old pros they know the job and they just get after it exactly and you know just just trying we're trying to keep him from doing too much because if you let him he will he wants to run and he wants to train and so we got to just woe him instead of going gotcha and how's that uh, tell me no lies completely different spectrum two-year-old now totally versus... different totally yeah. different uh, training regimen and and just different you know trying to teach her and and uh she's a she's doing well she's a, a really hard trying filly and um and uh, very professional so you know that's half the battle with these uh, young horses is if you can have some someone that you know wants to do it wants to win you're you're halfway home and what do you see with some of these progressions of these younger horses in terms of how you try and get them ready for a race like this i mean obviously you get your maiden races and then you start facing competition some stakes but now you got to step up and really face everything that can really run how do you deal with that with the young ones well you know they you gotta you know step up the uh training a little bit you know because you're going on you know we were sprinting her first uh a uh, couple of races or three races and then now you know the last race was two turns now this one again is two turns and so you know we we step up the mileage and um uh we put a good uh, stiff work in her friday she went 59 and change galloped out in 12 and change and um so you know you got to make sure you're fit and um then it's really just up to uh the racing gods yeah do you find with younger horses that confidence plays more of a role as you progress them into maturing through the ranks? You know, I think confidence is big with all of them, with all horses, and uh, especially with the young horses, though, more so. And I think, you know, having uh, her win her last three uh, has given her a lot of confidence, and, um, you know, hopefully uh, <clears throat> we can uh, keep it going on uh, Friday. Awesome. Well, best of luck, Peter. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Nobody does it better.